Hey YouTube, this is ModMe1707 with a uh, tutorial on how to get and play Wii games on your Wii for free without any discs needed. Nothing. All you need is a hard drive and you can store as many games as you want and play anytime you want. Alright, so let's get started. First of all, the things you're going to need. These are the, this is most important. Number one is the most important thing you're going to need, which is a soft modded Wii. Which pretty much, or it can be have a, or it can be chipped if you want. But it just, uh, it's just a Wii that has to have the homebrew channel. And what the homebrew channel is, is it's a channel on the Wii that makes it so you can take, or it makes it so you can load your SD card, or f load things from your SD card on your Wii, and use them. So, um, I'll be doing a tutorial in the future on how to do that, how to put homebrew channel on your Wii, but it takes a little while and I need to find the time to do that, so just check back on my page for that tutorial. Um, uh, so the number two thing you're gonna need is an external hard drive which you're gonna need to store your Wii games on. So uh, it's very important because you won't be able to play them without that. Um, I recommend a 500 gigabyte hard drive you can get those at Best Buy for about fifty to sixty dollars. Five hundred gigabytes a great space because you can store about two hundred to three hundred Wii games on it, which is just freaking awesome. So you can do that. Um, but for this tutorial, if you want to, just for you to learn, you can just grab a little USB uh, port and just put it in to just put one game on your Wii just to get the feel of how to do this. So if you want, you can do that. But for you know, if you want to get tons of Wii games. Then you need you're gonna need at least or not at least but at most a 500 gigabyte hard drive. You can get things under that, but each Wii game probably takes about uh, from three gigabytes to eight gigabytes. It depends on what game you download. So make sure you get one of those, or you can just use one of those little, uh, little USB drive like I just said. All right, so now let me show you where to download your Wii games. This is a this is or let me show you how to download them. How to download them is you're gonna need uh, an untorrenting program which I this is the fastest torrenting untorrenting program I've ever used in all my history of ever doing this so it's called bitlord you're gonna wanna download bitlord so go to google type in bitlord uh, my computer I don't know why it's doing this it's usually fast there it is, BitLord, the first link. Click on that. Here it is. Just click on this. Try BitLord, blah, 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 new beta. Whatever, it's free. It's save free. Alright, so, you, so you're going to, you know, run or save it. I don't care. Just download it. Download it. See, so installed your computer. So let's get out of there. Now, here it is. This is what I showed you before. This is BitLord. Pretty much, I want to see, uh, pretty much, uh, I've already downloaded most of the things, all at 100%. Uh, get rid of that. I don't need that. Um, yeah, so I'm already downloading a bunch of things. I download my Wii games in parts. See all these games I'm downloading. You know what I'm talking about. Blah, blah, blah. Legend Leg Spire, all that good stuff. C has a lot of games in it. I download lots of games. So, um, Spyro, blah, blah, blah. Let's use that for example. So, if you, uh, this is the game I'm downloading, or, you know, I'm downloading a lot of them. So, let's minimize that. Uh, now I'm going to show you where to get them. This is an exclusive website that a lot of people don't know about that you can get lots of things from, lots of Wii games from, just Wii games, music, movies, anything you want. It's a very good website, very trustworthy, very safe. But the problem is is that you can't register for it because registration's closed a long time ago, so you're going to have to have an invitation from me. And uh, how you get this invitation from me is just please subscribe to my YouTube account. Once you subscribe, I'll see you subscribed. I'll send you um, an invitation code in, uh, to your email address. Go to the website, put the invitation code in, and voila, you have an account. So, let's go to it. It's called demonoid.com. Type in demonoid. I spelt it wrong, but here it is right here. Demonoid.com. Click on that. In my account right here, I'm signed in. See, so, yeah, I've already downloaded tons of stuff. All right, so pretty much what you're going to do is you're going to start off with this page, and you're going to want to go to keywords. Don't do any of this stuff down here. You can download if you want. That's just music. Go to keywords. Let's say, for example, you want to download uh, Mario Kart Wii. Good game. 
Mario Kart Wii. Type that in, press enter, search, whatever. Alright, so if you're USA, you're going to want to download NTSC, which is right here. If you're Europe, you're going to want to download PAL, which is Europe. And if you're Jap Japan, then obviously you're going to want to download you know, Japanese, which is JPA. So let's download English. This is English right here, NTSC, USA, everything's perfect for what we want if you live in the US. Click on that. Here we go. This is the stuff, 4.38 gigabytes. You know what I mean? So if you want to download it, click here to download the torrent. Click there. Click open. These are two things. It's going to open it in BitLord automatically. Okay, so open that. Now let's go check BitLord, see how it's doing. There it is right here. It's already started. So, to save us time, because I don't want to sit here and watch it download, I'll just use a, uh, I'll just use a different game that I've already downloaded. So let's use Spyro Eternal Night. Let's use that. So you're just going to right click that, browse download directory. As you can see, there's no um, file in here because I already moved it out for the purposes of videos. The file is over here, but normally it'd be right here. And just move it to your desktop. That's all you have to do. Exit out, exit out. Now here it is. Here's the file you want. Now, in order to get the file to your hard drive, you're going to need WFBS Manager. WFBS Manager for your games. So, here's the link below I included it in. Just copy and paste. I'll include it in description too. Um, yeah, go to Google, copy and paste. Here it is right here. Second link, WFBS Manager Releases. Put you to the page. Wait a second. Here we go. Alright, so recommend download WFPS Manager 3. Blah blah blah. You're going to want to download that. You're going to agree to that. And, you know, open, save it, just whatever. Do whatever you want. Just install it to your computer. So, once that's done, it's going to look like this WFPS Manager. This is what it's going to look like. Games to add to WFPS Drive are going to go right here, and games on your hard drive are going to be over here. So, let's get your hard drive set up for this. I put in a little tiny little hard drive just for this video right now. It's going to it's going to be right here. Move a little disk J. So that's what I'm going to use for this video. So, you see how it says J? It's not it might not say J for years, but it might say J for years. It just depends on what the computer gives it. The computer's just going to give your hard drive a random letter. So, the hard drive that you put in is going to be the letter you're going to use. So, uh, for example, I'm using J. So right now on J, um you're gonna want to uh, you're gonna make sure it's empty. You know, mine's already formatted, but you're gonna make sure it's empty, okay? Then you're gonna go to refresh drive list, so it gets on there. Then you're gonna want to click on the drive right here, go down to the your drive, mine's J, and then you're gonna want to click format, and it's gonna be like warning: this will delete all the data on the blah 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 on your hard drive J. But that's fine because that's how you format; it's just it deletes all stuff. So yes, you want to format that. So there we go. Format com completely successful. The WS FBS drive is now ready. Click OK. And now you're going to want to click load. So there we go. It loaded the empty drive. It's empty right here. This little blue bar is, this whole thing is f like empty.